The 2021 NASCAR Cup Series season will forever be remembered as the year Kyle Larson finally reached his full potential. For years he had helped the improvement of Chip Ganassi Racing, but finally he was going to have a championship caliber team behind him. In just the span of a year, he went from nearly losing everything he had worked towards up to that point to winning damn near everything. Outside of his last lap flat tire fiasco at Pocono, it was pretty much a flawless season. One that that will not only be remembered as one of the most dominant in NASCAR history, but also included one of the greatest comeback stories in all of sports. Gonna shake up the points. Gonna put Hamlin to the top, Keselowski, and then Larson, as Kyle Larson wins Las Vegas. Seventh career win for the 28-year-old from Elk Grove, California. Last one in October 2019 at Dover. White flag, one lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Kyle Larson trying for his first NASCAR win in a race longer than 400 miles. And he's going to pick NASCAR's longest night to do it. And what a weird situation to get it done, right? With those three second places back in 2017, a pole and then go ahead and win the race. Going to do it again right here, 2021. Kyle Larson wins the Coca-Cola 600. Rick Hendrick, career win 269. The irony of returning the number five to Hendrick Motorsports this year, the number with which all-Star Racing, owned by Rick Hendrick, scored their first victory at Martinsville with Jeff Bodine. Remember five years ago, Denny Hamlin, Tony Stewart, just that same kind of battle. Down into 11 on the final corner of the race. He's but Chase has got to get closer to have a shot. So strong in this fast part of the track right here. I just don't think he does. Turn 11, the final breaking zone. And Rick Hendrick's team's going to tie a record that stood since 1956. One, two finishes, four races in a row as Kyle Larson wins at Sonoma. And he's excited about it. You see him go sideways there as he crossed the line. Thank you guys so much. A lot of local fans here cheering on the local boy. Get out the broom, fellas. Kyle Larson just swept the day. Two stage wins and victory. White flag, one all-star lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. Well, you got to love this fight by Brad Keselowski. Never gives up. That was a great effort right there. I don't think there's anything left for him, but he's going to try it. I guarantee you that. Larson right down on the white line, taking the short way around, leaving Keslowski no out, and your all-star winner, Kyle Larson. Gutsy move, won that race. Woo, what a what a run this kid is on right now. But he went for it, and that's what you want to see. That's what this all-star race is all about. When I say he went for it, you saw that car move. The nine car tried to block him, tried to run him up, make him jump that cushion, and I'm telling you, it was close. By the halfway point of the 2021 season, Kyle Larson was viewed as the best driver in all of the Cup Series, nabbing four poles and four wins in the first 18 races of the season, capping it off by nearly winning four races in a row. Kyle Larson's won everything he's said in the this year, dirt cars, all types of dirt cars, road courses, never won at Watkins Glen, a couple corners away from his first career win at this racetrack. Number five important for Kyle Larson and Hendrick Motorsports, and it's going to be win number five on the 2021 season for the driver of the five. Kyle Larson comes out of seven for the final time, and Larson is going to win at the Glen. Oh yeah, guys, good job today. Larson! Tries to do the slide job, not enough room. He does it. Harvick crosses over. Now puts the bumper to the back of the five. 
Harvick charging hard. Larson, now Elliott on the inside of Harvick. Watch for that. Larson clears him. Out of four. Larson's going to win at Bristol. What a race. Let's go. The round of 12 cutoff race at the Charlotte Roval was the biggest hurdle the team had to overcome during the playoffs. They had to overcome not just battery, but also conveyor belt issues. Once they got those issues fixed, they were expected to just hang around and point race but not by a long shot. Kyle Larson's car lit up during the final stage and not only was able to lead the final laps of the race, but also scored the victory his seventh of the season. A mile and a half from his eighth win of the season is Kyle Larson. A win at this racetrack locks him in to the championship four in Phoenix gives his team two weeks to work on that car. Kyle Larson, a dominant performance. He leads 256 laps, and he'll win at Texas. Phoenix, run for a title. Good job. Hell yeah, boys. Let's go. You were money on every single restart. So proud of you, man. If he's able to finish this off, the last driver to win three straight races twice in a season was Dale Sr. back in 1987. Pretty good company to join there. That's the best company. I need to get better at that. What a season Kyle Larson has put together, and what a round. This round of eight, eight of the best drivers in NASCAR, he has put it on him. He wins again. Larson wins at Kansas. For you, Mr. H. For you and all the teammates of HMS from all those years ago. Excellent job, guys. Great team, great job today. Proud of you, Larson. Ricky Hendrick paint scheme. One here in the truck series, Ricky did back in 2001. Kyle Larson taking that paint scheme to victory lane. Kyle Larson, we talk about he and his crew chief, Cliff Daniels. Well, things have clicked for them. Larson is going to win stage two, and now he has the advantage over the other championship four drivers. Last run, just two free for Kyle Larson on exit. He said, I cannot get back to the gas like those guys can. The crew lost some spots on the last stop. They have been the best throughout the playoffs. Let's see if they can deliver here. And they do. They get Kyle Larson lead on a close drag race. Gave three spots for Larson there. Incredible. That's it. The move of the race so far. It was a lucky break for the 19. It is a pit stop for the five. Remember, qualifying on Friday determined pit pick. One lap to go. Presented by Credit One Bank. Wow, Truex made up a lot of time again in turns three and four. A huge amount of time. He's closed the gap. The five. Now sees the 19. He's getting closer in the mirror. Down the back stretch for the final time. There's going to be a lap car on the inside. Not going to allow Truex to run that low line that he wants to run. Kyle Larson a year ago watched the race from North Carolina. Today, he's a Cup Series champion. Oh, my God, guys. Yes. Yes. Pick crew, this is all on you guys. Unbelievable. You guys are the best. Thank you. Thanks, Claire. Thanks, everybody. Kyle Larson's 2021 championship season stats are this. 10 wins, 20 top fives, 26 top tens, and an average finish of 9.1. Congratulations to Kyle Larson and the number five Hendrick Motorsports team for achieving what might be the first of many Cup Series championships. Without a doubt, one of the greatest redemption stories you will see in all of sports. And also, championship flag bust, Kyle Larson 2021. And once again, that'll do it for another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Black Flags Matter. Catch you next time.